My boyfriend has been acting really weird ever since he got promoted at his job. Yeah, he thinks he deserves a VJJ upgrade. He doesn't. He's not Tom Brady. Shut it down. Deal breaker. Yes, yes! Yeah, there's no such thing as bisexual. That's just something they invented in the 90s to sell hair products. Deal breaker. Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this video is about the Image Comics Union filing grievances. Not even three months. It was actually a few days shy of three months. But before I start, Dale Keown finished the uh, line art and tones for the main cover of uh, First Kill, and he's currently coloring it. I'm very, very excited. The depth of field of this piece, it feels three-dimensional when you're looking back into the jungle. So this was the news like two days ago. This isn't a strike, but it's the first union action after the union was ratified. I mean, you go to the Comic Book Workers United Twitter account, and you see, we the workers of Image Comics have formed a union, November 1st of 2021. Then you got March 1st of 2023, the workers of Image Comics voted overwhelmingly to ratify our first union contract. May 31st, less than three months after being ratified, the union representing some Image Comics workers is having issues with their employer. They are saboteurs destroying the company from within. And I just want to remind everyone that these are not creative people. They're not even editors. This is basic office staff. These people are photocopying bills of lading, saving them as PDFs, and then uploading them to Dropbox. These skills, let's put that in quotes, of all of these troublemakers are easily replicated by ChatGPT for what is it, like $20 a month? Or Fiverr, or any temp agency. A union of Image Comics employees have filed charges against the publisher with the US National Labor Relations Board, following what the union describes as, quote, anti-union discrimination which includes, quote, capricious disciplinary actions and targeted changes to job descriptions. If I was in charge of Image, I would fire all of these troublemakers, shut the company down, and then I would open a new comic book company. Inspired by IDW, Idea Plus Design Works, this one would be called International Makers of Amazing Great Entertainment. Acronym would be IMAGE. So their complaints are petty as fuck. Increasingly frequent and arbitrary disciplinary actions while failing to give appropriate notification to union representatives. Motherfucker, there are eight people in your union. A series of unilateral changes and discriminatory reductions in job descriptions of union supporters. So these are the charges they have lobbed against Image. Coercive rules. Image created a work rule barring solicitation of other employees, or dissemination of literature during work hours. CBWU believes this to have been a discriminatory effort to discourage and restrict the ability of union members to engage in protected organizing activity. You got like 11 employees. Eight of them signed up for the union. The other three decided not to. It's not like they're not aware that there's a union, since I'm sure you never stop talking about it. So I'm guessing... One of the bosses said, hey, can you just do that after hours? Second charge, changes in terms and conditions of employment. Image unilaterally implemented a change which only materially affected one employee, an elected member of CBU's bargaining committee. Motherfucker, you got eight employees. I guarantee that half of them are on the committee or maybe all of them. Number three, refusal to bargain slash bad faith bargaining, including the fuck is that the abbreviation for including? Including surface bargaining and direct dealing. Image unilaterally implemented a new work procedure and initially rolled it out in a non-uniform fashion. The procedure was rolled out at different times among different employees with different instructions being given to different workers within the bargaining unit. The company refused requests to communicate with the bargaining committee over this change prior to implementation. Image Comics managers also misled certain employees to believe that this new policy was mandatory for all union workers, but this is demonstrably false. The disorganization of the staggered rollout, despite being a clear failure on the part of management, was used as a pretense for management to issue more groundless discipline. 
Disciplinary actions have increased exponentially with insufficient justification, lacking a full and fair investigation, without notification of the union, and without the opportunity of having a union representative present. Union representatives have yet to receive a single formal notice of any disciplinary actions. It was probably a sign in the break room asking people to stop microwaving fish. So many things I want to talk about. Number one, when were you working on these complaints? Because I don't want to hear it was during working hours. Number two, at what point on March 1st did you start writing down your grievances? Because I think it was immediately. You want to talk about bad faith. I think this is the reason that so few people in the comics industry, even people who support unions, are talking about these charges. Because what unions are supposed to be is about protecting workers, but this looks more like you're just using it to air your grievances and lord it over your employers. One of the things, if you're running a small business and a company with only 11 employees is a small business, is you need to be able to turn on a dime. That's also one of the advantages of running a small business. You can just make a decision. Hey, we're doing this. And God forbid three of the employees are at lunch when you make the announcement because then you didn't make it to all the members of the bargaining committee at the same time. I'm telling you, Image, you guys were stupid as fuck when this was announced in 2021 that you just didn't shut down that LLC, fire everyone, open a week later with a bunch of temps and maybe one person from another indie company, and you wouldn't have to deal with this bullshit. I saw a TikTok a while ago where a person died from blood poisoning, and it was from two extremely minor injuries. One was literally like tripping and having a fracture in a bone. Not even a broken bone, just a fracture. Then working out in the yard and getting a cut on the finger. The cut lets in an infection, which gets into the blood, which gets inside the bone, and then it's a motherfucking wrap. When they announced this shit in November of 2021, that was the fractured bone. When it got ratified in March, that was the cut on the finger. And it's three months and you got blood poisoning. Fire all of these people. Shut down the company. Open up again a week later, whatever the legalities of it say. Employers are entitled to shut down a facility and go out of business for any reason, including an anti-union reason. It wasn't even three months and they're already causing some bullshit office drama over some announcement like stop microwaving fish. Well, you told these three people to not microwave fish, but then you told these other people the next day to be considerate and not heat up any food with an offensive odor. But that could include things besides fish. It's like, did you even include the bargaining committee in this? Sorry, this is Image Comics, not your petty ass bullshit LLC. None of the Image employees are creative. They're all just office drones. One of the reasons they want so much power, and originally in the bargaining, they wanted the ability to actually gatekeep projects, which means the publisher says, yes, we're going to publish the Divided States of Hysteria by Howard Chaikin. And they say, mm, no, there's a trans person who gets hurt in that. That means it's anti-trans. Even though the people who hurt the trans person are obviously portrayed as villains, even though the trans person is clearly portrayed as a good person, these non-creative saboteurs decided, Twitter lynch mobs decide what we publish. Nothing bad can ever happen to any trans person in any image comic because we don't want to get shark attacked by some psycho on Twitter. Before I go, first kill graphic novel, link is in the description. Thanks for watching, bye.